Hi, I'm Jazz from Vancouver. Today's TOEFL tip is about ordering and summarizing a reading passage. In an English-speaking setting, students are required to do a lot of reading. A good reader uses a range of skills to understand a passage and to understand the relationships between ideas. This is something that you will need to do in the TOEFL test. In this tip, you can practice the following reading skills to help you better understand the passage and how it is organized. For example, you will be able to better recognize logical order of a reading passage, recognize, and or recognize the organization and the purpose of a reading passage, create a mental map of the structure of a passage, for example, in a chart or an outline that organizes major points and important details. And finally, how to summarize major points. You can practice these skills with a friend or on your own. Look in the newspaper or an academic text and find an article that interests you. This article should be about five to eight paragraphs in length. There are two things you can do with the article. First of all, make a copy of the article and cut the article up into paragraphs. Mix up the paragraphs and try to put, it, put the article back together. When ordering the paragraphs, look specifically for cues that can help you. For example, look for logical sequencing. Think about what comes first, second, and third. Look for the relationships between ideas. How are ideas connected? Also look for reference clues such as however, in addition, and for example. When you are finished, check your work against the original text. You can also write a summary statement for each paragraph. Each paragraph, each statement should outline the main idea of each paragraph. You could take this activity further by just using one paragraph and cutting it up into sentences. Or find other ways to challenge yourself to put things in order.